Hi, I'm Mitch Johnson and I'm here to introduce my new book, Pop. Pop is a story about a girl called Queenie who finds the secret recipe to the world's most popular fizzy drink when it washes up in a plastic bottle on the beach near her home. Now, this recipe is priceless and the company that lost it, Mactonic, will stop at nothing to get it back. They put out a $10 million award and soon Queenie finds herself being chased across America by black ops helicopters, bounty hunters and bloodthirsty mobs. And what she comes to learn on this journey is that Mactonic's plastic pollution has become a big problem for the planet. And so she resolves to put the recipe out of their reach forever. The question is whether she can evade capture for long enough to make a difference. Now, I'm often asked as a children's writer where I get my ideas from. And the idea for Pop actually goes all the way back to a game uh, that I played when I was a child. And that game is called Urban Myth. Now, the way Urban Myth works is there are lots of cards inside this box and each card has two statements on it. And you have to decide whether those statements are true or whether they are false. And there is one in particular that I really remember and that has stayed with me into adulthood. And that goes along the lines of only two people know the recipe to the world's most popular fizzy drink and they're not allowed to travel together in case they have an accident and the recipe is lost. And that really got me thinking, well, what would happen if those two people who know the recipe were traveling separately and they somehow collided on their journeys? What would happen then? What would happen if the recipe was lost? And that is how POP begins. It starts with two private jets colliding in midair over the Pacific Ocean. And the passengers in those jets are the Mactonic executives who know the recipe. And it's from there that the story unfolds. So if you read POP, I really hope you enjoy it. And hopefully uh, this little video is showing you that ideas can come from absolutely anywhere, even the games that you play.